Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Dota Flounder. Welcome back to Pokemon Rogue. We're going to do another daily run today. And we're going to be up against a Swablu. Okay, so. We have... Toxic Debris. A minus speed nature. I, how do the items work? That's what I want to know. Because I, I saw the last time I played that they have these items. So this one has a charcoal, which doesn't help me whatsoever, and a king's rock, so it might flinch. I don't know exactly what that berry is. Does that one have a life a life do? And this one has a silk scarf. Does it have it's timid? No, that's not good. Especially with only physical attacks. Um it'll be good, it'll be good later, but not like right now. Uh, what did, what did, Jolly, that's not bad. Well, no, it's, he's more of a special attacker later on. Oh, this is really bad. Powers up, uh, aura, and then has blaze, toxic debris. Okay, um, straight up, I think Swablu would be good to get, but I, it's not going to be good to use, um, We'll catch it because we, we might as well. Having a dragon later on is just just good. Uh, let's go with for now Pokeballs. Fletchender. Fletchender would actually be pretty solid. I feel like Ancient Power would kill it though. Let's Rain Dance. Yeah, I was kind of saying in case it has uh, fire type moves. Uh, we're going to set the Toxic Debris. So I guess we'll see how long that effectively will stay out. Let's hit this with Ember, All right? It's confused now, so we should be fine to go into Clauncher. I set up the rain, so I don't want to accidentally KO, especially if it's confused. Maybe setting up rain was not a good idea. Um. I don't, I don't know what to do here other than swap around until it's done being confused. And that the rain is gone. I kind of put myself in a bad situation if we're going to try and catch Fletchender. I think Fletchender will be really, really good, especially having like a Talon Flame. Rain stopped. Alright, let's hit it with an Aqua Jet. Should not knock it out. Okay, that we crit. We crit! So, yeah, imagine if the rain was up. All right, let's, uh, let's try and catch this. Awesome, we caught it. Another Pokemon with Flame Charge. Hopefully, I didn't pay attention to the nature. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. An Elixir. Let's just Potion. Let's Potion to Fletchender. I feel like it's going to be one of our best Pokemon. Um, We will just straight up go for a knockout on you. Oh, that didn't do a lot at all and now we're paralyzed good thing we have rest can't move awesome love it love it um let's aqua jet yeah cool uh do we want a second swablu on the team also i don't like the fact that it keeps going for dragon breath I don't want anybody on my team being paralyzed. Alright, so. Who wants to learn Fenishock? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Rain Dance for that. I don't know why we would want to set Rain Dance with Glimit, but. I mean, we already did, technically, but I don't know why we'd, we would want to. Alright, uh, healing right now, probably a little bit better than more Pokeballs. Let's just get Fletchinder up a little bit more. Oh, great. A double battle. At least Spoink is poisoned. I think Spoink is a little too dangerous for Glimit, so let's go with Fletchender. Um, that being said, I think Pidgeotto is the priority here. So let's double target Pidgeotto. Also, the fact that it has Quick Attack is a little annoying. Um, do we 
we already, we already have so many flying types, but maybe like getting rid of one of the swab. All right, so a jolly one. Jolly, Jolly's probably the way to go with it. We gotta get rid of the level 22 Swab Blue. Do we want the Pidgeotto? Probably not, but I guess it's better than Spoink. Um, let's let's just double target Pidgeotto for now. Take it out. Um, is Spoink is Spoink something we want? Psybeam seems like it'd be pretty good to have, just as as like backup. Um, let's let's go for it. It's poison. Maybe it'll stay in the Pokeball at this. All okay, right, cool. Psybeam, Splash, great. Uh, so I forgot. We want to get rid of level twenty two one, even though it's a higher level. But Jolly Nature is so much better. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, yes. Absolutely, yes. We need we need a good flying type attack. Acrobatics is probably pretty huge. Alright, so... Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Ultra Balls? I would like the Ultra Balls. I would also like the heal, but I would like the Ultra Balls. Oh, great. Okay. Double battle. Uh, Sev Viper and... Oh, um, we're, we're not really good on health. I th think we're going to have to double target the Mawile. I would honestly prefer to have Acrobatics on Seviper. And it lived anyways. I'm losing somebody here. Hopefully it's Rabu. No, nope, it's... Mm, okay, so... Alright, it's not the end of the world. We have Spoink. If Spoink can outspeed, we can hit it with Psychic-type attack. Hopefully we can. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't like bite or crunch us and we go down. Uh, well, so I'm confused, right? I guess, you know, that's just better than Splash. So yeah, why not? Sure. Moment of truth. Do we outspeed or we go down to like a bite? Uh, you want to learn a chill? Yeah, we'll get rid of a track. I don't think we'll be using a track if I'm being honest. Um. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Way back. All right, yeah. I had a feeling we were going to lose it to a Dark-type move regardless, but, uh, yeah, like, well, at least we got an attack off. Uh, so Viper is just not something that I would really like to deal with otherwise. So, uh, revives would be good right now. I don't want my team missing on, it, on any experience. Uh... Cool. We gotta take the Mega Bright. We have Swablu on the team. Like, not taking it would be a, a disservice. It'd just be a disservice. All right. Thank God for the one shot. Please revive, max revive, full restore, <laughs> hyper potion. Literally, so oh, hyper potion. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, Rabu, Rabu is getting it. Ooh, Rhyhorn. Uh, I guess we'll scout out to see if it has uh, a ground move. We'll go for Venishock. Uh, Stomp. Okay, that still did a lot, though. Toxic Debris going down. Um... I really would like to catch this. It's probably going to have speed now. I was going to go for another one. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully an Ultra Ball can catch it at this range. Awesome. Awesome. All normal type moves. Uh, I would love to keep Clauncher, but it, we, it's not getting any experience. Um, so... It is what it is. Glimmit wants to learn Sandstorm. Good residual damage would boost our special defense. Actually works out with some of the guys on our team. 
mainly Rhyhorn. <laughs> I don't know who else is benefiting from it. I don't think anyone else is. Uh, safeguard. Prudence status conditions in this one. Uh, prevents any of their stats from being lowered for five turns. I guess I rather have safeguard over mist. Hyper potion, huge. Let's go. Uh, let's give it to Rhyhorn, I think is probably the way to go. Yeah, I can't really do much to you. I could go to Rebu and... Rhyhorn should be fine. Rhyhorn should be fine. Uh, we will Tail Whip to lower the defense. Up, oh, yep, see, I, I, that's why I didn't want to go to Rebu. Uh, Rock Slide would have been awful. Absolutely awful. Not that, you know, our normal type moves are any better, but at least we can tank some hits and potentially flinch. One of these, there we go. There's a flinch. It's got protect. Cool. Um, let's keep tail whipping, I guess. I would love to swap out to Rabu, but the unpredictability of this thing is really throwing me off. Uh, another flinch is awesome. Let's sec limit. Limit's level 26, so, like, that's fine. I don't know if that makes contact. Okay, it does make contact. All right. Uh, now we can go to Rabu, and I feel a little bit better about double kicking now. Yeah, okay. Because I just, I was thinking we're, we're timid, timid nature. So like, that's not, it's not great. Um, I, let's take the nugget. Machop. Okay. And it's poisoned. So it might have guts. That's not good. Let's go with Swablu first. Uh, it already took, um, damage from poison. That's hilarious. Dragon Breath. Oh, that did nothing. That didn't do anything. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Um, let's rack up a little bit more poison. Focus Energy. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's an easy... That's a free knockout. Oh, we should have caught it. We should have caught it. Mm, I forgot it was a wild Pokemon. We should have caught that. It's fine. It's fine. We'll take the Nugget. We'll have a lot of money uh boss is a shield on we will instantly go to raboot for that uh because double kick is very strong a special attack raise which is fine iron Ooh, okay we might still be able to ko though nice let's in his solid rock yeah okay we we completely obliterated that thing's hp are you kidding me all right new area Another Swablu. Level 27 this time around. Uh, ours is only level 24, but it's got a good nature. It's got a good, good nature. I'll be honest with you. I don't really want to fight it, though. That's the issue, because I don't want to get paralyzed on anything. Oh, thank God we didn't get paralyzed. I would have been so upset. <laughs> I would have raged. I would have started smashing everything. I probably wouldn't have. I, I just would have been very annoyed. Uh, Spoink's getting up there. I think Spoink evolves at level 23, I want to say. A rare candy. Uh, yeah, let's use that on Fletchender, because that one's actually really far up. <gasps> Axe you. Axe you. An Axe you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, do we... I think we get rid of Spoink for Axew. Oh, it's got a rivalry. Uh, I don't like that. I mean, I do like that. That'll be good for us. I mean, technically, it'll be good for us. But, awesome. Let's go. Crunch, Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance. Plus special defense, minus something. I think we get rid of Spoink. Glimmit's actually kind of a little bit more useful than I thought it would be. Also, in hindsight, like, we could... We're not, it's not in hindsight. Um, we could get rid of Rhyhorn here because it's low on HP. But, like, 
Spoink, I, I, I can't imagine Spoink doing anything for us. I really can't. It, it did us good against a Viper. Other than that, like, I, I don't see it being any bit useful. Um, I was going to say, would, would love to heal... Do we heal Rhyhorn or Axew? I think we heal Axew. I want... Let's heal Rhyhorn. Let's play it safe. Oh, good, dear God. I don't like that. We switch your Rhyhorn? No, Rhyhorn can stay. Switch Rabu? Yes. Uh, do we go with Glimmit? Yes. Because if it hits us, we'll get the Toxic Debris up. Uh, so yeah, let's... I don't think we're outspeeding anything. The scary Face it only applies to one. Let's Tail Whip. Well, I don't know why Siri is trying to activate on my phone. Did I say serious? Are you serious? No, well, not activating. I don't know why I tried activating. Uh, let's just go for Ancient Power. Uh, I want to say this is going to be the one on the top. So, oh, okay. That was strong. That hurt. They're all female. Why have they been all female? It's not... <laughs> It's not good for my team. Let, let's just let's just throw that out there. I got a lot of I got a lot of males on the team here. I don't appreciate that one bit. Uh, acrobatics for sure. Uh, okay, thankfully we took the hit. But we're going down anyways. All right, they're double targeting. It's honestly really annoying, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, Rabu hopefully can do the job there, and we can hit the other one. Awesome, cool. Uh, if it survives, do we go for a second axe? You oh, got burnt. Uh, I, I don't think a second axe would be bad. I really don't. Uh, dragon, this one doesn't have dragon dance, but Glimmit's kind of KO'd. All right, let's get rid of Glimmit. I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I'd rather have something fast and hard hitting, I guess, even if it is burnt right now. It won't be burnt for long. Um, should probably heal. Probably would be a good idea. Let's do it on Fletchender. Oh, uh, uh, that's probably gonna rip through the team now. All right, uh, I would love to attempt to catch this. I think it will just kind of ruin the whole run though. And I think honestly, Swablu might be the safest bet. Uh, going down here. I think I think we let this one go down. Why would it go for a bulldoze on a flying... Th like, th does it really have, like, predicting? Uh, I hate when games do that. I hate... I really do. Um, Alright, all right, sand attack, that's fine. Even if we miss, we're taking out with poison. That'll be good experience, at the very least. Yeah. Getting Fletchender up and catching up to the rest of the team is just, just good. Uh... Yeah, we'll learn Headbutt, only because we have the Silk Scarf. I should probably look at the other things everyone else is holding, but... She wants to learn Dual Chop. Um... I don't really like Dual Chop. It's inaccurate, right? Yeah, but Scary Face isn't really going to do much for us. We might as well just learn Dual Chop. Okay. Uh, Pataya, Special Attack, and a Pinch. These aren't great. Let's re-roll... Revive. It says Star Fairy Do. Truffle raises a random stat. Let's get the revive going. Um, I would like to try and get Rhyhorn uh, evolved, but also to Axew. Really good. Ooh, this isn't good. Uh, and it outspeeds. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, let's go with Fletchender. We'll hit it with an Acrobatics. That did not do anything. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, we're going to try and have speed. 
Dual chop. If we miss dual chop, it's game over. All right, rivalry kicking in, I guess. We we got sped though, and we took it out. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have focus energy than dual. Ch well, focus energy with dual chop. <laughs> forget it, forget it. We're putting too many variables in it. Actually, it's not that tanky. We just need to get one dragon dance off. God, come on. And it's got rough skin. Yup. Oh. What is, what is up with the dragons? Uh, are you gonna... Are you also... You have his plus speed in nature. But you are also slower than them. I, we gotta go with you regardless. Oh, Mold Breaker. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I'd rather have Mold Breaker than Rivalry any day of the week. So that's awesome. What level does Axew evolve into... Um... Fracture, though. Alright, we're halfway through the area. Rare candy or citrus. It could just re-roll, too. We re-roll. Oh, what? Cool. Um, might not be the best, but I would... Oh, let's go. Let's go. I would really... All right. Oh, that would be so good to get. That would be so good to get. Are you kidding me? Um, if we can catch this, we're replacing Rhyhorn immediately. First off. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stomping tantrum is gonna like annihilate our health. Oh, man. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Stomping Tantrum, Payback, Crunch, Iron Defense. That's not even a bad moveset. It's better than Rhyhorn's freaking normal type attacks. Oh, man. That is huge. That is so... That's so good. That's so incredibly good. Um, Let's... Let's... Yeah, let's heal you. I... Alright, hopefully we outspeed this. We just take it out. Awesome. That's what we love to see. We love to see it. Uh, a revive would be huge. Uh, let's reroll for a revive. Oh, I didn't get it. I'll take the X defense. Oh, God. A Drampa? Mm, we're going for it. Oh, thank God it didn't have a... Oh, that still did so much. That did so much. All right, just please evolve level 30, level 36, 37. I don't just pick pick one, evolve, do it. Uh, I, we don't we don't want Dragon Pulse. It's not gonna do anything for us. Oh, I got so excited! I was like, oh yeah, we're evolving. I forgot Rabbit would probably evolve at level 36. Most starters do. The very least, we have Cinderace. I don't know when Cinderace gets its signature. It gets it right away on evolution. Awesome. Because, uh, you know, we actually need, like, some good <laughs> good moves. So, here's my thought process. We want that for coverage. We don't necessarily need this. But Flame Charge with Baton Pass is good. But we don't really need Flame Charge. But if we get rid of Flame Charge, we don't really need Baton Pass. So, we'll get rid of Baton Pass. Having Pyro Ball is actually just really nice. Just really nice. I'm actually... We had that in the last one. Let's put it on Axew. There's been so many dragons that like... No, we can't. I am, however, a little concerned that we're going to get knocked out by the Cyclozar. Who is normal type though, so we can double kick it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cyclozar is on speed. Yep, there goes Axe you, but it's revived. We'll outspeed the other one. I did it knock it out. Come on. Because uh, of rivalry. 
I don't, I don't want, I don't like being that guy, but like, come on. Come on. Yeah, we gotta take out Cyclozar. I don't know what that thing has. It's too unpredictable. I don't like it. Ooh, we wanna learn Earthquake, huh? I did go for stopping Tantrum. <laughs> so, what, what happens if I replace it? What happens if I replace it? Is it gonna use Earthquake instead, or...? Ah, oh, it's still used Stomping Tantrum. Okay, cool. I, that, I, I mean, that would have been really bad for Cinderace. We probably would have knocked out Cinderace, but, like, we had to know, right? U-Turn would be such a good attack to have, but we cannot... We can't. We can't. No, we just absolutely can't. Drayden. Hey, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna we're gonna lose here. Pupitar. All right. Let's hit it with an earthquake. I don't think we'll serve. Oh, we missed. Oh, it's got hustle. It's got hustle. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, smack that with an Earthquake, too. Let's go. Uh-huh. You're going to crunch me? That's fine. I don't care. I'm just going to keep spamming. All right, that one's a little bit more scary. Speed boost, huh? Okay, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that, actually. Hopefully, Cinderace can outspeed you. Uh, and we should probably headbutt. Okay, you have Sheer Force. Because you didn't have rough skin. Uh, wants to learn counter. Uh, yeah. I think counter's something we could make use of. Absolutely. Actually, wants to learn sword stance. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. We'll get rid of dual chop for sword stance. Absolutely. Oh, and we're evolving. Let's go. Let's get a fracture. I love that they evolve mid-battle. It's so awesome. It makes it like the anime. Alright. I'm not... I am no longer concerned. We outspeed you. You're weak. That's fine. Cool. Get out of here. Another axe you. Alright. That's fine. I don't really care. Uh, I guess we just go for headbutts because we could flinch. Uh... Let's go for Pyro Ball. I just want to scout out if it would do a lot. All right, it does, uh, and we burn. So that actually worked out really well. And this is the last fight on the area, so we're going into the next section. Everything will get fully healed. We're going in with a level 40 Cinderace and a Fracture and a Pupitar, which isn't going to evolve for a while, but hey, you know, I'll take it. Cap, raise the level 52, switch your Pokemon out. We don't have anything with... We don't have anything with water. So we'll go with Pupitar. We'll just go for an Earthquake. I was going to say, Camerupt might be good with Solid Rock, but I don't... We don't really need another fire type. We don't need another slow Pokemon. We don't need another ground type. I know Pupitar will become a dark type on evolution, but still, we don't need another ground type. We have so much like going on. This thing is too inaccurate now. We got we got a whole lot going on. We absolutely need to catch Fletchinder up to the rest of the team, though. I really want that Talonflame. Oh. What is Dragon Chair? What is what is Dragon Chair? Does not make contact. All right, where's the description though? Increases users' allies' crit hit ratio. If the effective Pokemon are Dragon type, there. Okay, thanks. Add. It goes up two stages if they're Dragon type, and mm, we'll pass. I think Experience All is actually really good here. Sinatra. Okay. We could use a Grass type. 
we could get rid of the other Axe you. Alright, hear me out. If it survives our crunch... Oh, okay, this one does have crunch. I was like, I, I saw a stir, and so I was like, Ooh. If it survives our crunch, we replace this Axe with Sinatra. If... Oh, okay, no, that's really strong. I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Uh, I would still like to replace that axe you now, but I don't feel comfortable letting this thing live after it just straight Oka. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take that knockout. You know what? Experience for the rest of the team. That's fine. Legendary wants to learn agility. Do we need it? No, but we'll get rid of Growl. Uh, Growl might have actually been useful for double battles, but uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. We'll come to that bridge when we cross it. Uh, we'll revive you because you're still on the team, and if you're going to be on the team, you might as well get some experience. Uh, do I want to switch out? Absolutely. Do not want a fire type out there. And. Do we want to swap out Axu? Yeah, probably. So, I don't really want a... So here's my thought process here. Doug Trio is the scary one and needs to be taken out, but Sand Slash is very tanky and gonna be a problem. But uh, yeah, again, I think Doug Trio is the scary one. And it got burnt anyways, so... And it got taken out with a Dragon Claw. That's fine. So we'll hit Acrobatics on Sand Slash. Uh, Cotton Guard is really good. Let's get rid of... Honestly, let's get rid of Fury Attack. It's such a bad attack. I'd rather have Safeguard than Fury Attack. We go for Fury Attack on things that we want to try and let live. <laughs> That's about it. We will forget Payback for Stone Edge for sure. That's a great attack. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to do a whole lot. And that doesn't affect us. I was going to say, do... Yeah, everybody's alive right now. We might as well just get the experience. There's not really a point in not. So, this, this combo should actually take it out. Keeps... Oh, it's hitting both. I didn't realize it was hitting both. That's fine. Whatever. I forgot Bulldoze hits everything on the field. Let's learn Dragon Plo Pulse. We don't need Dragon Pulse. We'll get rid of that. Ultra Balls, I don't really care about. Uh, I will take the Super Potion. I will use the Super Potion. Alright. Um, I think we just go into Cinderace for Caparaja. Let me just hit it with a Pyro Ball. Nice. Center Ice actually, like, despite the fact that it's timid, putting in a lot of work. I appreciate it. I have to assume Pyro Ball is a physical attack. I probably should pay attention more next time. But. X Accuracy would be good. Hyper Potion is also good just to, to heal up. Let's, let's get Pupitar back up. Pupitar is like our third best Pokemon, so keeping it healthy would go a long way for us. If we can hit that with a Pyro Ball, it should take it out. Especially with the, the level difference. Awesome. Let's learn Outrage. Um, I really would love to give it Outrage. But I think Dragon Claw... Well, let's be honest, if we get a Dragon Dance up, or a Swords Dance for that matter, nothing's living Outrage. Besides a Fairy type. <laughs> or a Steel type. But... Oh, hell yeah. Alright, Altaria time. I'll take Altaria. Altaria's gonna go... Very nicely on the team. Learn something cool. Dragon Dance, <laughs> maybe. Dragon Pulse, I'll take Dragon Pulse. I will take Dragon Pulse. It's better than Dragon Breath. I mean, I guess that's debatable. Oh, and we get Talonflame. Awesome. 
See, I, I made a post the other day saying that I was sick, and I felt really, like, congested and, like, not well. And then the following day, I felt fine. Um, and now I'm feeling congested again. Which is just awful. Be right back. Apologies for that. I was uh, choking on phlegm. <laughs> Not that we all need to know that, but uh, you might be wondering why I was like, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, I don't even know what's going on. Uh, let's go to Pupitar. Hopefully this doesn't cross chop or anything. So, long story short, um, yeah, I have... Uh, I think it's allergies, and I already kind of put off a day of recording this week, so I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, upload any of the shorts this week because of that. Anyway, back to this. Um, even if you go back out to Magmar, I don't mind smacking that with acrobatics. We'll probably outspeed, so that's fine. Getting Talonflame actually super good. Even if it is like one of the lowest levels on the team. We have a lot of flying types. A lot of fire types. A lot of redundant typings in these things. I'm not a fan of that, but at the same time, like, I can't be upset. Uh, bounce is okay. What does it really do for us? It lets us hit grass types, which we already do. It lets us hit fighting types. But... Is it better than double kick? I feel like double kick has gotten us out of a lot of sticky situations, so we're, we're gonna say no to bounce for now. We can always relearn it if we have the ability to later, but for now we're we're fine with not having it. Uh, fl does flail or acrobatics do more here? Probably acrobatics, right? All right, that's fine. We're gonna survive, but the sandstorm's gonna take us out, unfortunately. So he still has his Grovile, I want to say. So let's just go in with Cinderace. A sock. I guess we should have taken Bounce, huh? <laughs> it's probably going to have Sturdy. Yep. The burn is actually so nice. <laughs> oh man, Cinderace is hard carrying us. Oh, and we're evolving. All right, let's go. All right, it's over. I have so many good Pokemon now. I can only imagine if we had gotten that Gabite too. How how absurdly monstrous this team would be. I mean, I guess I can't really say that. We still have a long ways to go to evolve some guys. But yeah, it's whatever. All right, I want to conserve PP. That's why I didn't go for the fire tip attack. We only have like one left. And that being said, Altaria wants to learn takedown. Takedown's not a great attack, but it's a physical attack, and it's better than round. So we will learn it. Pupitar wants to learn thrash. We are not learning thrash. Fracture wants to learn sword stance. Yeah, that's fine. You can learn that over scary face. That's cool. Alright. I mean, I think it's coming along kind of nicely now. I'm not, like, disappointed or anything. Uh, let's get Fracture up a little bit. No, not Fracture. Uh... Yeah, let's just use it on Cinderace. Oh, Mudsdale. That's not good. That's not something we want to see. Uh, we want to hit this thing on the special side. It also helps that we are uh, can avoid its um, signature stab attacks. Let's get it some con defense going. Um, just kind of so it doesn't do as much damage to us. And we'll start hitting it on the special side. Alright, that didn't do a lot. 
that's not something I'm happy about. I know that we are a minus special attack nature, but yeah, not not pleased by not doing any damage. Mudsdale actually would be kind of a good Pokemon to add to the team because of its ability. But again, I don't I don't think we really need more of the same redundant typings. But that should be good experience for us. Alright, got all the way up to level 40. Hexer's level 50, Cinderace level 49. Pupitar's getting up there too. The Sandstorm is really doing us in right now though. I would love to use Calcium on something. I think most of our guys are physical attackers though. All of our guys pretty much are physical attackers. Altaria has the special move, but that's meaningless. Uh, so let's... Uh, Heal up Altaria a little bit. Kind of needs it. Skull Villain. Okay. It would be a Grass type, but it would be our third Fire type. Uh, let's just go and take this out, too. At least we're hitting this a little bit more. Oh, thank you. Thank you for getting rid of the freaking Sandstorm, dude. I appreciate that. You don't even know. You don't even know. You, you have chlorophyll. But, yeah, whatever. That worked out well for us. The sun should still be up going into the next part, too. So, maybe we swap over to Cinderace and have a good time with that. Everybody getting levels. Everybody getting real good like. Uh, nobody on the team. Oh, I forgot I got one fainted. It's fine. We'll, we'll keep that in mind for next. I would love to have Donphan. I really would. Donphan is such a cool Pokemon. <sighs> can't we can't justify it cannot justify it I don't know if I want to keep wasting all of our power points on the dragon pulse like maybe we should have left one but Don fans a physical tank we we really need to hit on the special side fury attack that's fine hopefully a second takedown will take it out because I really don't want to take too much recoil all right cool this should be good experience as well moon blast absolutely because we have a Mega Bracelet. We can make Mega Altaria. And uh, it'll be a fairy type. So, how do I go about Mega-ing? Do I need them to have? I don't like any of these options. Those aren't much better. We have to level cap with him. Yeah, so how do I how do I mega? That's like my real question. Do I have to find the mega stone? So we have the mega bracelet. And we have a Pokemon that can mega in Altaria, so like what what's the deal here? Oh, he flinched. Cool. Uh, the, 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 I think Fracture would probably outspeed. Yeah, we'll go for Dragon Claw. This way, at least everybody's walking away with some experience. Alright. Yeah, we need the revive. I mean... I would have liked the max potion, but we need the revive. Talonflame is getting way too low on levels to even keep on the team at this point. So, like, we got to play it safe there. Ursaluna, huh? I don't like that one. Oh, he's going to swap. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I will take free damage on anything you're going to give me. All right, so Exodrill, huh? That is actually kind of bad. <laughs> it's really bad for us is extraordinarily bad for us so i think what has to happen is i think we need to live an attack we need to dragon dance and then crunch we can take that all right crunch for the love of god ko it, of course I, I forgot about rivalry oh man 
You got a citrus berry too. All right. Well, we should outspeed with this. We absolutely have to hit the pyro ball. He swapped out, so we're not hitting the pyro ball on what we need to hit the pyro ball on. We're going to Altaria. Hopefully, dodge a move. And I can't really do much besides move last, so we're going to move last. The game has to know like what moves I'm going for, and I I don't like that. I really don't like that. Um, I don't know if Talon Flame can even do much here, but we'll go for a Flame Charge. I, you know what? We'll take the Double Edge Recoil Damage at at the very least. That's a Flame Body, huge. Let's go. Yeah, and like we still have Double Kick, which is fine. It knows the moves that we're going for. That's not that's not fun. It's just not fun. And excuse like my poor play here. Like we're not we're not playing well. But like the fact that it knows that I'm going for a fighting type move and then goes into a ghost type, that's not fun. There's no way it would know that I would be going for double kick. And now we can't hit it. So it's whatever. But like Whatever. I know I'm getting a little salty here, but like... Like seriously. Don't, don't read my attacks. If you, it's, if you have at one point see me go for double kick, sure predict it whatever maybe you're just like oh this person's going for this move i'm gonna go to my steel type to resist no this person's now going for a fighting type move i'm going to my ghost type. no no <sighs> that's bad game design i don't mean to complain i don't i do but i don't I'll see you in the next one.